What is going on YouTube? Hey, the Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. Hopefully you guys had an amazing and blessed Thanksgiving. Um, I, I know I did, but uh, moving forward, what we need to talk about in today's episode, there's definitely some very important things that have happened surprisingly over to Thanksgiving, which we need to cover in today's episode. It seems like we can't take our eye off the market for even a day or some crazy stuff happens. It seems like that's usually uh, what seems to be happening consistently on the markets here. But so we're going to be talking about XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. We also are doing a free Amazon gift card giveaway here. It's a $20 Amazon gift card that we're giving away at the end of this week to one lucky winner. All you have to do to enter the giveaway as a way of giving back for uh, this week is comment down in the comment section below. Subscribed, make sure you're subscribed because if you're not subscribed, I will not be giving it to you. And also comment giveaway, comment those two things, make sure to smash that subscribe button and you'll be entered for the giveaway and we'll, pe and we'll be picking a winner on Sunday. So stay tuned for that, it is very exciting. Now, um, with that being said, as you guys can see within these major cryptocurrencies here, it appears that XRP has done the unthinkable and broken through it's descending fifth bull flag formation, which is very exciting because that might mean we need to be getting in on a trade on XRP today as I speak. Um and potentially, you know, catching this 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 drift to the upside, this breakout to the upside here. We're going to have to look at this, see if it if we actually did break out and definitely go from there. We're also going to be looking at things like Ethereum which also appear to have broken out of its bull flag formations here. So it's another opportunity maybe to take advantage. Maybe XRP and Ethereum are possible trade opportunities for this Thanksgiving way of giving back and, you know, you know, appreciating what we got. So that's pretty cool that that happened uh, right yesterday, right about yesterday. And you can see Bitcoin has not done anything just yet, which is good. It's cooled off. It's definitely coming. It's definitely coming, but it hasn't happened just yet. And they'll be looking at the S&P 500, which has been closed for a majority uh, of, you know, the past couple of days. And that should see some movement. I mean, this was, when was this? The 22nd here, and today is currently the 24th. So yeah, so about, it was closed yesterday. And then we're gonna see what happens today when we open up, whether we head up or down. I'm pretty much expecting correction in the market, but we'll see what happens there. But with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe and let's jump into today's episode so guys as you can see here we left off two days ago um xrp ripple holders literally any day now massive breakout should happen and it's funny that this is what we said any day now literally like two days ago let's see what exactly when exactly this video was made it was made november 22nd so two days ago we made this video and you can see here the descending fractal formation the lower high lower low pattern in the bull flag and then if we check out xrp XRP's pattern right here, we broke out of it. You can see this is what we've been calling and what we've been talking about here. Here's the bull flag and here's what we did. We are breaking out of it. Maybe this was the low that we were expecting and anticipating. And here we are swinging up and you can see that is exactly what XRP is doing as I'm speaking, which is pretty incredible. So we do definitely need to go over these things in a second with you. But you can see right now, fear and greed index 72 on the on the uh, on the fear and greed index. We have the current coin market cap at 1.43 trillion, up 1%. Nothing really too crazy. We do have a subtle bounce off bottom support to the upside, subtle bounce and a swing up. And this has been a consistent movement here for most of the major cryptocurrencies, a subtle swing upwards here. We haven't necessarily seen you know a big impact. A big, big, big volume injection just yet, although I do expect that to come. But as you can see on XRP now to dive in, what do we have to expect here? What do we have to look at? Well, for starters, it definitely appears like XRP could be heading higher up. We've definitely confirmed yesterday closing outside of the major downtrend, which is very exciting. We've definitely bounced off. This is on the 21st bottom support. The moving average here reversed upwards. And here we are retesting this resistance and heading up even higher, which is definitely, definitely exciting if you ask me that we're starting to see this reversal upwards here and if we jump to the four hour you can see even more so that we're starting to break upwards here you can see why we're also getting hung up and why we need to be a bit more cautious as to jumping in onto something like this than we have in the past here now i don't think we can adjust to include resistance it just doesn't seem to work out that well uh, so that's why i'm gonna you know err on the side of caution and say well we've definitely confirmed that breakout here but you can see we are getting caught up right now with the four hour moving average not as important but definitely something to consider so it's definitely a, a 
a pause in the market where we don't need to be jumping into this buying in right now because you can see uh, we are getting a bit of turbulence, a bit of resistance right here. Now, well, what does that open up and what does that mean for us? Well, that means that we do have an opportunity to take advantage of this potential breakout if this is confirmed, if we can break through these moving averages here on the four hour here, because I have this feeling in the back of my head like we're going to reject and fall right back down and see some weird you know, bull flag formation where we consolidate back to the downside and then see a breakout. And then somehow we need to like include that in the downtrend here. So there is still this huge possibility of correction and rejection off the four hour moving average here. Huge possibility of something like that happening. However, before we make that, you know, make that call, we have to see if we break through it here. That's really what we're waiting on. Are we going to be able to break through moving average? Because if we can, then I would suspect that you know, that breakout to happen here. So that's what we're getting kind of caught up on. That's what we're getting stuck on here. And if it can break through it, then we should see a very large rally. And I think there's very much so a possibility that it could happen because we're only trading at 50 on the RSI. We're actually at a low of 43 when we were down here. So there's plenty of room for us to head up. It's just whether or not we can break through that four hour more aggressive style trade, um, you know, on the four hour chart. So if we, you know, take a chill pill here and wait for that confirmation, we might have an opportunity opportunity to get in on the four hour charts, obviously doing so on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits, literally everything you could possibly think or want on an exchange is offered on BidFi, including XRP to leverage trade, which makes them stand out from the crowd here. You can see literally clicking derivatives, clicking USDTM, just like that will load up the Bitcoin chart. Click XRP right here, and you can now leverage trade XRP. And this is what we've been able to do over the past couple of months. And it's also what we're going to do when we see the breakout actually be confirmed on XRP. Well, we'll get in and long this to the upside, literally by clicking the XRP chart on BidFi, then swinging right over here. You can see the amount of leverage that you'd like to use. Obviously, it can be pretty risky when you 50 times a leverage, but you have that opportunity. You can even set your take profit at stop loss and then long or short the cryptocurrency. Obviously, we will long it in this time period here to the upside, which is super cool. The best part is if you want to, you can earn up to $2,888 and who doesn't like free money by signing up with that link down in the description below. You can see you have tons of opportunities to earn free cryptocurrency, which is super cool. So make sure to check out BidFi down in the description below. And with that being said, moving forward, you can see it's not just XRP that's starting to break out here. I'm actually going to leave this on the four hour to see if maybe we'll have you know, a bigger reversal or a bigger run happen. But you can see here on things like Ethereum, it's almost like we're starting to see that breakout as well. We have a lower high, lower low formation where you can see each time we head lower, it's lower than the last. And each time we head higher, it's lower than the last. You can see each time we head up, it's lower than the previous one. You can see how this has been a consistent thing here. Well, what does that mean for us? That means we're creating some sort of bull flag formation here. Price ceiling, we are clearly heading up. You can see where resistance is. So truly, if you want to play it conservative, if we can break through what I just circled and highlighted, then we'll have an opportunity to get in and long this to the upside again. Ethereum likes to play some pump fakes, likes to mess with our heads. But if we manage to break through this resistance here, this price ceiling, probably on the daily on the daily more than the four hour here, we'll have an opportunity to buy in and long this to the upside, which I'm very excited to see happen as I very much so expect it to happen here. But be patient, let these rock, let these play out, and then we'll have that opportunity to either buy in or we'll have the opportunity to short. It all depends on how we react with these price ceilings. Same thing goes with XRP if we can break through moving average. Same thing goes with Ethereum if we could break through those price ceilings here. And then taking a step back, looking at everything else, you can see even on Bitcoin, we're kind of in the same boat where we have a price ceiling that we need to see how we react with the markets here. So not only does XRP kind of have this problem zone, this price ceiling, same thing with Ethereum. Bitcoin is just right in it too. You can see the beautiful, it was an ascending fractal. We've now turned it into an ascending triangle with a clear price ceiling up top here where we've consistently rejected off the ceiling. If we manage to break through this, this will give us that opportunity to long it to the upside, which is very exciting. However, you have to keep that little devil on your shoulder that could suggest a potential dump if we break through the price floor, that will open up this short opportunity here to moving average, which seems like more of the uh, a reasonable expectation. But the longer we hang out here, you can see the better we've become. We were at one point trading at 
86 on the RSI. We've now lowered ourselves down to 59. So we've definitely allowed more wiggle room for a breakout, which is definitely good news if you ask me. But it's still something we have to pay quite a bit of attention to. And with the S&P, I would hope by now we start to consolidate back down, lower ourselves on the moving average because we need to do it pretty much Bitcoin did, which was, yeah, hang out in this area, but low, cool off a bit, cool off on the RSI. That's what the S&P needs to start doing. It needs to start cooling off. But with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>